good day everyone. Uh, we are looking for a very nice, interesting way of visualizing the results that we study in school. You know the equations or identities, theorems or other results. We are going to do that with the help of models and of course activities. Now, we have already talked about a plus b equals square last time. Then we went over a, little, a step further and said we can talk about a plus b plus c whole square also in the same manner. Now we go one step in the other direction from the same result a plus b whole square. Suppose instead of a plus b it is a minus b. That is Suppose it is a minus b whole square. Now we know the identity for this. This is a square minus 2ab plus b square. Can we have a model for this too? Yes. And the nice thing about it is that if the same model as for a plus b whole square will work for a minus b whole square also. Now it cannot, the model is the same, but it will have to be used in a different way, otherwise it will give the same old result. Let's see. We know that this is the model for a plus b whole square. Now, very quickly before going over to the model, we brought the model here because we referred to it, but before going over to use the use of model, very quickly we check, we know already that the number A is denoted by a line segment here in our models, B by another line segment of a different length, and if you have to add the two, you take them side by side, like this is A and this is B, then the whole length is A plus B, so it represents the number A plus B. For A, B product, we take a rectangle whose sides are A and B, and therefore the area will be A, B, so our product A, B will be represented by a rectangle whose sides are A and B. We know this. So we don't discuss this too much. The only thing is we have A minus B and we don't know what to do with A minus B. Now whenever you have addition, in models it means putting them together like we did for the two segments. Subtraction means take away. Now this means that if I have a length A, the number A here, and I want to subtract B, I have to and the length of B is say this much. What I have to do is from this I have to take away that much. This has to be taken away. No, you can't do that. Because suppose this is your length A and this is the length A, how can I take away here? So we have to find out some way in which we can do this. And it is this. Whenever we have subtraction, we do this. So we'll keep this in mind. That when we have a subtraction, we take the bigger number as the whole length. So instead of saying here that this is A, this is A and this is B, we shall take the whole as A. Now if the whole is A, then it's easy now. We take either this or this as B. And if we take this as B, this is A minus B because we take that away. If this is B, we take that away and this will be A minus B. So that's very easy, nothing difficult about it. The only thing is that it requires a little bit of pre-thinking as to what we really want, to keep it in mind as to what we want. We want A minus B that we can get, we know now, square. So in our model, we should have A square because the power is there, whose sides are A minus B. Now, if I take this as B, 
So this is me, this is a minus me, and you can see that on a minus me, we do not have a square but a rectangle. But if we take this as me, this will be a minus b. And if this is a minus b, this will also similarly be out of a, you take away b, this will be a minus b, and so this blue big square will be a minus b whole square. So it looks like it's going to be possible. What we want now is the big blue square. How much is it? a minus b whole square. Okay, let's start. How, what do we have? What we have is this. The whole big square. Whose side is how much? A. The whole length. So we have the whole A square. Now, before going further, just let's write down what we want. We'll keep an eye on this. We want A minus B whole square. That means we want the big blue square in our model. We have the whole square here when we take A square. So, if you want only this, take away the rest of it. Remove the rest of it. Alright, how do we remove the rest of it? Removing is not difficult as such. What we can do is take away this and that. Well, take away means what? We have to tell what we have taken away. I can't say just take away this. Now, if I have to show and tell that all right, take away this, then it's fine. Because I know that this side is B, this side is B, so I'm taking away B square. But what about this? What about the red rectangles? One length is B, we know. The other length is A minus B. This is the length. So the area will be B into A minus B. How do we do that? Well, we have no, nothing for doing that. So that won't do. We have to take away something whose area we can say that, all right, this is the area. Okay, let's see. Suppose we take away this. We are taking two pieces together. And two pieces together, they form a big rectangle. And now do we know the area of this rectangle? Of course. This is B and this is A. So if we take that away, that means if we take away means minus. We take minus A, we had A square, we took away AB. That so far it's fine. Now it's very simple. Just take away this red piece. It's not that simple. Why? Because this red piece had given us problem to start with. We did not know what it was. We could do it only when the little square came to help it. Well, call the little square to help. It's not there. Never mind. Add it. So now, we have taken it away, but we are now adding it. But the rectangle has gone. So now we have this much. What have we done? We have added B square. And we have ended up with this. Now we know. We have then all, gone all the way to do, take this trouble. We wanted to remove this. Okay, remove that. And we are left. What, remove that, note it down. We remove A. Now what we have left, we have left with is what we wanted A minus B whole square. So ultimately we ended up with this. What did we do? We did all this to get that. So these two are equal. Now what is this? It is a square minus 2ab plus b square which is precisely what we want. So that is how we go over to a square minus 2 a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. Now the next question as usual making the model now, making the model, we shall not spend much time on it because we have already made a model for this. A plus B whole square 
And if you have gone through it yet, make it yourself. You have it with you. If you don't, you can uh, have a look at that previous video and find out how to make it. I will very quickly tell without actually making. What we do is we draw a replica of the bigger rectangle, the two square lines. I'm just showing you. I'm not going to do it, but I'll show you, of course, just to quickly revise. And then cut across by this and end up with Yes, this was the square. We cut it and ended up with a big square, a small square, and two congruent rectangles, and that was our model. So we have got the model now. Uh, well, actually, we had it already. We are simply using the same model for this. Now, after we did a plus b whole square the identity for that. We went a step further and said, all right, can we talk about a plus b plus c whole square? And we said, yes. And we had the model for that also. And it was something like this. in order that it doesn't fall off, I have taken it a little down. Well, if you can use this for a minus b whole square, can we use this for what will be the next thing that we can think of? Instead of a plus b, we have a minus b. Now instead of a plus b plus c, suppose we have formed the identity for this. We know the identity. It is a square plus b square plus c square. Minus 2ab. Minus 2bc. Plus 2ca. Alright. How can we get this? Now, actually I wanted to leave this to you, but I'll give you a small hint. And the hint is that, as we said before, you want to take minus, so either you take a minus b or c minus b as the whole. So, instead of saying that this is a, b, c, call this a. Then this will be b. Okay? And this will be a minus b. And then you will have a minus b, this is a minus b, this is c, and that will be a minus b whole square. Whether it's convenient or not, you'll have to ch check later. Or you can take c minus b, so you take all this as c, and take this as b, so this will be c minus b. Now, what you have to do again is the same thing. Take away something that we can express it in terms of ABC. If necessary, put back something. You know, you will be taking these two and putting back something. So it is going to be exactly the same way. We are not going to do the whole of it. But the hint is that when you take the whole A minus B or the whole C minus B, one of these two, what should remain should be A square. So choose your A, B, C in such a way that either A plus C minus B or A minus B plus C remains as a square. So that should help you. Now making this model is as simple as that and we also are talking about it here. So we don't go into it and I hope there should be no problem with this. It will be a little exercise and a little thinking. If required. Well, okay, thank you.